folks. Been talking about doing this for a while and finally had some time today to do it. So that's a Trinket MO. That's the updated version of a Trinket. Uh, Matt Happel sent me uh, the original Trinket a while back uh, when I first started this whole endeavor and it started with uh, building a simple dial boost and I found out that the library that this screen takes to just run it alone the code space was I think twice as large just for the library compared to what the old trinket had on it period excluding any other code so there was no way it was gonna work but um, the new trinket MO has 32 times the code space that the um, the old trinket had it also has I want to say it's like six times the unit of space probably wrong on that number but it's it's quite phenomenal like for instance the code right now this code would not that I have currently on this board would not fit on an uno I've got I'm only using 12 percent of the code space that thing has which is insanity so you saw the first two screens and I'm actually gonna hit the reset button on it so you can see them again so whenever you reset it it comes up twisted builds wideband gauge so the whole boot is uh, five seconds long, and uh, it's two and a half per screen. And then right now, this is my simulated for my wideband gauge. So this would be the zero to five volt output from my wideband controller, which is 10 to 20 AFR. And you can see just turn in the gauge, changes, and you know turn it all the way up, go straight to 20, turn it all the way down, goes down to 10. Boom. So, uh, next step in the endeavor is to start working on a chip that will fit in the OLED screen. I might have to remake the screen bezel a little bit as well. Uh, try to get as much space out of it as possible. And um, work on, I need to work on a voltage divider because this only works on a 3.3 volt uh, analog in. And obviously my Y band's output is 0 to 5. So it's not a huge deal. I just have to voltage divided down to 3.3 3, then make sure all the bias voltages are the same so that way it displays the correct air to fuel ratio. Um, once that all, that's all figured out I'll be off to the races on making these things. So hey, thanks for watching this very very quick update video and uh, if you like these videos please subscribe and uh, thank you and have a good day. Bye.